Closer to home, people gathered in Orlando this morning to protest the overturning of Roe v. Wade. News 6's Jerry Askin was there and talked to local lawmakers on both sides of this issue. At a packed rally Saturday morning, more than 100 people came out to the Renaissance Theater Company in Orlando protesting the overturning of Roe v. Wade one year later. The women who are being forced to have children against their wishes, having to go across state lines, travel, ridiculous distances. It's uh, it's unfair. The U.S. Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade last June, which erased the constitutional right to an abortion that had been in place for nearly half a century. Marnie Schonbog was at Saturday's rally. We can make the right decisions for us, our families, um, in consultation with our doctors. We really don't need the government making that decision for us. Here in Florida, lawmakers passed a six-week abortion ban because supporters said it's important to protect human life. The six-week ban, which provides exceptions for rape, incest, and human trafficking, will take effect only if the state's current 15-week ban is upheld in an ongoing legal challenge that is before the state's Supreme Court. I recognize their view. I don't agree with it. I, I side with the baby. Saturday's rally was organized in part by State Representative Anna Escamani. Just like across America, bans on abortion are unpopular. Bans on abortion are un-American. Bans on abortion are, are anti-freedom. I'm not going to stand for this. We aren't going to stand for this. We've had enough of this. There's a war on women. Because abortion access is health care, and health care is a human right. In Orlando, I'm Jerry Askin, getting results, News 6.